now on Enough Rope, it's time for the segment where I interview three ordinary Australians. I'm joined now by three forklift drivers who've never been on television before. John O, Michelle and Darren, welcome to the show. G'day, Hi. Andrew, how are you? Now, you all do a job that I find fascinating. You drive forklifts. Well, it's not that fascinating, is it, Andrew? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, you just interviewed George Clooney 45 minutes straight. You found him fascinating. <laughs> but this is the end of the show, the bit where you stick all the boring stuff. No, 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 that's not true. No, oh, come on, it is true, Andrew. I mean, this is where you stick the interviews that you're not really interested in. Sorry, what was your name again? Michelle. <laughs> well, Michelle, you're wrong. I happen to be very interested in the lives of... Uh... Forklift drivers. For... Oh, that's right, it's the bit at the end of the show. Yep. Uh, anyone got any salt-of-the-earth humorous anecdotes that I can pretend to find amusing? Well, yeah, there, there was this one time I was driving a forklift. Why were you driving a forklift? <laughs> I'm a forklift driver. I thought you were in Ocean's 13. That was Clooney. No, no, I've just talked to George Clooney. I don't think he drives a forklift. This is awful. Oh, I mean, well, it could be worse. I mean, this could be the bit where he goes into the audience and talks to saddos who were run over by a tractor or something. Oh, thanks. That reminds me. It's time to go into the audience. Hello, has anyone had anything awful happen to them? <laughs> Thank you and welcome to Enough Rope. My first guest lost half her face in a savage pit bull attack. She lost her hair for nothing more than living too close to a nuclear reactor. She lost her sight in a car accident at the age of 11. An incident which also claimed her legs. And one of her hands. And an ear. She lost her voice to throat cancer and can communicate only by clicking her tongue in a language only her mother can understand. She also recently lost her mother in a freak parasailing accident. Of all the gimps I've had on my show, she surely had the roughest trot. In fact, there's a big bonus coming to the researcher who dug this one up. But you know, for a woman who's lost so much, she still retains a sense of humour. In fact, she even got lost on the way to the studio tonight and is currently in a cab circling the city with a very confused taxi driver. <laughs> No doubt cracking jokes in that funny little clicking language of hers that only a dead woman understands. Until she gets here, we'll have to show a rerun. Uh, has anyone I interviewed died recently? 